This is continuing in a series of testing for RF frequencies, or sometimes known as microwaves, various household items that you may encounter in your daily life. And we have a couple of antiques here today. We have a cordless phone and we got a flip phone. Remember those? All right, well, first of all, we need to take a background radiation reading. So we're gonna turn on the Acoustometer model AM10. And if you haven't seen these, I'll have to explain the numbers again here. Up here in the le upper left-hand corner is the actual what this meter here shows in volts per meter. As high as this, this light ever goes, that will hold it, peak hold. Uh, the number next to it is the actual number of currently displayed. Right now, right about point between 0.5 or so and, and 0 0.1, 0 0.05 and 0.1. Uh, the number below it would be the other scale here. That's the average, and that is not a peak hold. So uh, we're going to do a five minutes. This is simply a stopwatch. We're going to do this with the flip phone first and see it is one of those flip phones. Yeah, they do still exist. We're going to test this for five minutes. You're going to do a background test, really, based on what we're doing here. We're going to reset the acoustometer. And we're going to. And if you haven't seen these before, we run the timer for five minutes. We're going to speed it up 40 times its normal speed, so it only takes you seven and a half seconds to watch a five-minute test. So let's do a background, a basic background radiation reading here now. After five minutes, we peaked to 2.58. Now. Unfortunately, if you're watching very closely, and I, I'm going to have to go back and watch it again myself, but what I was watching here is this, the highest it really ever got to was 0.18. So I'm probably going to change that number, but i got to review the tape myself to review to what this number actually did. At this location, I've, I've, this is the second time I've tried to start in this video, and I have the same thing. Every so often there's a spike that comes along in this neighborhood, and I don't know what it is. It's not the phone, and it's not something here, at least in this immediate vicinity that I'm in. Something is making this spike every once in a while, so that's going to be causing us problems throughout this location's testing. What we're going to do now, I'll have to review that, and I'll upgrade the numbers, and the numbers will be put below. I'm going to turn on the cell phone now. Let me uh, turn this off so you can see what, the, what it does when it goes on. Turning on the, the phone, and we'll watch what it does. See, so it already jumped to 0.68. I'm assuming that's the phone. May not be. Don't really know yet. Okay, so the phone is on now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a five-minute test of the phone just being on, not making a call, ready to receive a call. Phone on. So we're going to reset the acoustometer, reset our timer, and go for five minutes. After five minutes, we did spike again at one time at 2.67. However, I was watching it, and I believe, we'll put it on the screen so you can see, well, the revised number is going to be 0.21, I believe. I'll have to go back and review the video myself. But what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the thing on. But let's reset this first so you can see. I'm sorry, not on. We're going to make a call. And we're going to run it for five minutes on a call. So let's first dial a number that I, I have here. And you can call this number if you want, but you're going to get something weird here, and I still have to enter in my access code. I have to get the uh, code punched in here. All right, now I can do that. And let me make sure. Yep, uh, we are on. It's a conference call, that's all. It's like a, a podcast. Actually, that's my radio show on uh, Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. But anyway, um, we're going to reset this, though. Let's see, it's a 0.21. It looks like it's not going to be much different, whether it's on or off or anything. But let's give it a try here. Now we're going to restart everything, and we're going to go for five minutes. We're making a call right now, so five minutes making a call. 0.24 already. That time our spike up to 2.6, well, just jumped again. Uh, 4.71 a spike, but, however, uh, as I was watching it, I believe our, our corrected number is going to be 0 0.42. So uh, about twice the amount of RF radiation as with the phone, uh, just in idle mode. Now I'm going to turn this off and we're going to do, do something to be fair, just like we did with the cell phones uh, in another video. Uh, we're going to put the, because... The antenna is up in here, I believe, somewhere on these flip phones. We're about two inches away from the antenna because the sensor is right about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the put it up as if it was at your ear, 
And we're going to hold it there for a while while I talk about the next part of the test. So this will be uh, much more of simulating of how you had it on your ear, to, up to your ear. Now the uh, the next part of the test is going to include the, the cordless phones. However, the cordless phone, in order to get it to work, unfortunately, at this location, again, it's not my location, and it's not my equipment. Uh, now, I don't know if that was a spike or if that was uh, an actual uh, something from the cell phone. You'll have to watch this number, and I can put a corrected number in there later. But the the uh, the, the landline phone that this is connect to is through an internet server, through a modem. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn on the modem in order to, uh, and, and hence the Wi-Fi, because the Wi-Fi is also built into this particular modem at this location. And hopefully we can still get some numbers. I believe we're, we're about 10 feet away from the modem where we're going to be making the test for the cordless phone. And so hopefully we can get still get a reading um, through this, because I believe, from everything I've seen about cordless phones so far, making a call on cordless phones very much overwhelms Wi-Fi and anything else in the room. So we'll see. But as you see, uh, we're at the, the, the it peaked anyway at this time that I was holding this up to it at 1.31. So if indeed that was not an errant spike, then you are getting more radiation um, by having it up to your head as opposed to two inches away when I'd had it here. Okay, so now I have to set up for my uh, next part of my test. Okay, here's the story. As you see, it took me a long time to get this set up. We're going to have to do something different here because the router is now on. The modem slash router is on, and I don't know how to shut off the Wi-Fi section of the router that's built into the modem. In order to get this cordless phone to work, we have to do that. We have to, because it's plugged into the back of the modem, the power, the, the the input cord for the phone is plugged into the back of the router, the back of the modem. So what I'm going to do is, uh, we're going to turn on the acoustic meter first, and you're going to get an idea of the background radiation here, uh, of with the router on in the same room. We're at the same location again. Now you see how much higher it is. It's just ridiculously higher with that router on. We're at a 3.40 peak already, just in the, in the few seconds it's been on. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to try to shield this best I can. Uh, this is a big piece of metal, a double wall piece of metal that I'm going to put in front of the router. Now the router, the, the router slash uh, modem is about 10 feet away. I just shielded it, although it doesn't look like it's helping much. We're going to have to do the best we can with this. I'm going to turn this back on. We're going to get a background reading of it like this for five minutes with the router on, the Wi-Fi on, unfortunately. But let's see what we can do with this. So we're going to go for five minutes now. All right, a fairly high RF in this in this room with the router on, partially shielded. 2.88, I believe, is, is, is probably was not a spike. Now we're going to do something here next. We're going to put this cordless phone cradle here, and we're going to go turn it on. Bear with me. It's on the other side of the room. Turn it on now. I think may, the light may light up. You may see some activity. And then, of course, the light is not on. There, now you can see the light on down below, the red light, when it's in the cradle. So now the uh, phone is basically being charged. It's in standby mode. So we're going to test that now for five minutes in standby mode. We're going to reset this, and then we'll go for five minutes same way. After five minutes, 3.02. Don't know if that was a spike or not. We'll have to check later. The phone is still charging in its cradle. We're going to remove the phone, and we're going to dial a number. But to, before we do this, we're going to shut this off and back on again. So you can see. So we're going to attempt to make a phone call here. Let's see, I've never used this phone before. So I think I hit this button first. And you see it's quieted down. I have to listen to see if I got the prompt. It is ringing, so... Okay. Okay, as you may have been able to hear, we are making a call now. 
and you can hear the acoustic meter change its tone quite dramatically. Now we're going to set this up here and we're going to reset this. Uh, during all that activity we only spiked to 2.87 but we're going to turn this off. We're making a continuous phone call here now. We're going to reset all this and we're going to leave this on for five minutes, a continuous phone call through a uh, wireless phone. After five minutes of making a call, 3.04, and this was staying pretty steady uh, between two and three. I was watching it. Uh, let's remove this away. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit on the acoustic meter. This was interesting the way it changed pitch. Sometimes you can tell by the way it sounds uh, what kind of frequencies you're actually receiving. And I've actually turned the volume up. You still really can't hear it. The phone, we, we are still making a call. Now, what I want to try here now, to be fair, all like the other ones, is if we were had this right up to our ear, if we can do this without blocking all the numbers or the dials. I don't suspect it'll be much different because of course the antenna is up here but it did jump a little bit. It's up to 3.13 now. So maybe you will get a little bit more when you have it right up to your ear. Um, we're going to hold it here for a little time. I want to talk a little bit here. Um, this may not be a valid test of course because the background radiation is so high here with that Wi-Fi router on. I need to test some other location where we can just plug a cell phone, a, a rather a cordless phone, up to the wall and use it that way while I having to go through a router or a modem, or at least have a way to shut off the router part uh, of the Wi-Fi broadcast. So if anybody out there can help me out with that or do a video, or uh, I could come by your place and do a, a free evaluation. How's that? If I'm if it's anywhere along the route that I go when I go to everywhere in the country doing shows, you go to ForbiddenKnowledge.info. Uh, you can see where I am in the country, and you can. If I'm somewhere along your route and you have a cordless phone, you let me test, go and come in your home and test it for you, do this another video to repeat this video, love to do it. So go to ForbiddenKnowledge.info or contact me through the About page here on YouTube. So you see it, it just went up a little bit with the earpiece directly on the sensor, so it's not a whole lot different. So um, basically that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. I hear how the sound changed. Now I don't know if I hung up yet, let me see it here. Apparently, by putting it on the cradle, it hung up by itself. So when it hung up by itself, it, the sound changed. So anyway, I guess that'll do it for this one. Uh, check the playlist below, and you can find out a whole lot more other uh, devices we've tested for RF frequencies or microwave frequencies.